stage two. The blue card representing the Russia. Zef Farsho. Shogir Sahita. So next fight in the flyweight division between the Russian Zafar Shaw, Shamir Saidov, and the Russian Gajim Murat Gayrbekov. Zafar Shaw, Shamir Saidov is a good striker, not bad in wrestling, showed good endurance in a fight with Muhammad Salahidina from Tajikistan and won it by split decision in the previous round. Well, as for his opponent, Gajim Murat Gayrbekov, he won the bronze medal at the Russian National Championship. Now he's fighting here at the European Championship. Yeah, he is a striker. He uses distance, works hard with luxurious accuracy. He defeated Oljas Bitasov by unanimous decision in the previous in the previous fight. Yeah, Kaji is very, very good at striking. He knows how to control the distance because he has a good reach. He's tall. So these both fighters are strikers, so I think that this, yeah. all this fight could go on their feet. Yes, and uh, due to their tactics and techniques, uh, these fight can be like fireworks. <laughs> oh, that was a good move from um, Gaji. Yeah, I think uh, in the striking game, Gaji will have a slight advantage because of his accuracy, accurate work. Kick and a back spin fist. Back fist. Yes, by Gajim Murad, here back up. Uh, Gaji tries to use the high kicks. Well, he knows how to do it. And another back fist. And uh, actually, he used such kind of a shot in his previous fight and did it successfully. Nice sprawl by Gaji. Yes, they separate and still at the center. Gaji just, Gaji just doesn't want to go to the ground because he understands all his advantages and skills. Nice jab. But missed by Gaji. Good combination, actually. Yeah. The right hand. And we see that Gaji, after that shot, he did not just stand. And he continued defending himself and the good defensive moves. Yeah. That was great. Recognized by Gajim Murada, Gajim Murad Geirbekov. Well, and so far, I think that uh, Gajim has the initiative because so far is looking for counters. Good high kick from a leading leg by Gajim. And I think the partial Shamir Saida should go first, work first, and produce ceaseless attacks because Gajim Murada will outwork him in the distance. Oh, that's a good knee to the body from Gaji. And a sweep. Now he controls the opponent beside the cage, pushing him to the fence. And the corner tells to Gaji not to wrestle and not to spend powers but just to but just to wait until the time expires and to go because i think that uh, the round goes in favor of gaji so far because the four did not show us anything actually yeah but right now he's in the control of the leg so he's controlling it and he managed to take his opponent down over very pedestrian round number one to be honest well yeah the pace was not really high especially according to uh, this weight to the weight category because uh, of course we were counting on uh, great speed combinations just like we saw in the previous fights well so far the fighters are working careful uh, are working carefully, beg your pardon, and they do not take much risks. Mm 
And uh, Viktor Kornev warned Gaji of not grabbing the fence and said that if you do it one, one more time, I will deduct a point from you. Fair enough. Second round. And now the fight continues. In the blue corner represented Bulgaria. Still at the center, and uh, a lot. Oh, that's a good combination, but nice, nice. And we that's see a good combination. And David, now uh, Gaji works at the Muay Thai fighter. Don't you see it? Yeah. Well, he stands, uh, the position of the hands, movement. Oh, that's a Superman punch from Gaji, delivered and connects. And uh, by the way, uh, oh, nice putting back kick to the body. And uh, uh, we also see that Gadri tries to shoot from a longer range, and now he found the proper distance as far as we can see. Yeah, and we already mentioned it that Zafar Shosh Amir Saidov should shorten this, this distance in order to uh, make this fight uh, in his favor because at the longer range he will take some punches from uh, his opponent because uh, Gajim Murad Geirbekov is faster and more accurate. And in the previous episode we saw an outstanding takedown defense from Gaji. Well, he sees everything that his opponent yeah. wants to provide him. That's why Zafar Shoshamir Saida should produce ceaseless attacks. Never stop. Just go forward, yeah, risk him. He needs to increase the tempo, he needs to yeah. increase the pace. But so far, uh, I think that he's just not enough confidence of him because he knows that he should attack, but, well, something goes wrong yeah. in the last moment. They are at the fence right now. Just the second round, one minute to go. And the corner tells, tells the Gaji to turn around and not to, to defend himself, of course, not to let. And uh, another warning from Victor Karnev to Gaji uh, after grabbing the fence. And uh, well, this this can be a critical moment because if Gaji will do it once again, he will be deducted the point. Nice, nice grip from Gaji. And 30 seconds to go. There is no need to rush for Gaji and as for Zafar, of course, he does really need to do something. Well, he's losing the round again, so uh, I think that the decisive moment for him will be at the round number three. And, uh, well, yeah, right now he's showing us only the control at the grid, nothing more, and the takedown. <laughs> round is over. Let's wait for the third one. Third and final round between Russian fighters. Yeah, and this is the all-Russian collision between Zafar Shamir Saidov and Gaji Karbekov. Well, so far, this fight goes in favor of Gaji because he won two rounds in a row uh, with a pretty dominant manner, so to say, because he did not let 
the fire to do anything in counter or in response. And uh, well, we see that the fire understands that he should go forward, that he should change the way of the fight. But so far, I'm not sure that he knows how he can do it. Yeah, he's just chasing, but without producing any punches. And right now, as you can see, Gajim Murat managed to take his opponent down yes. and takes the back. Uh, and yeah. the position is very dangerous, actually, for Zafar Shor Shamir Saidov. Yeah, here is a back mount, but Gaji floors down. He, now he's on his back. And, uh, well, that's a good moment for Zafar to do something, to do things, and to change the way of the fight. Nice defense by Gaji. And here is the number. Oh, that's good pushing. But he gives up his back. And right now, the, uh, at the half guard position, Zafar is hitting with his knee and switching with his leg, left uh, hand to the body to the face that's his chance actually yeah but he needs to win this round due to 10 to 8 with a big advantage because if he will get it 10 to 9 well that would that will mean nothing for him well even 10 to 8 is not going to be enough yes he needs a stoppage or to win the round 10 to 7 but just yes. like we said that it is quite impossible here Nice move by Zafar here, but he wanted to take the back again, but perfectly defended by Gajim. Now they're on their feet and 50 seconds to go on this fight, so I think that Gajim will try to separate. Oh, that was a beautiful sweep from Zafar, and now he tried. He here comes the grip. Here and comes the, the chance. Whoa, that's the chance for Zafar Shor Shamir Saidov to win this fight. Exactly, and that could be a, well, a little bit sensational. Oh, that's it! Oh Stop my it. goodness! He tapped out. No way! Gajim Murat Geirbekov tapped out. Oh my goodness! Wow! He lost the fight that he was winning all the time, practically during the whole rounds. Wow! What just happened here? I just cannot believe my eyes. Well, yeah. And we hear the disappointment of the coach that he says, you won the two previous rounds, and how could you lose in that case? Well, yeah, and I think actually Gajim Murat Gerbekov lost the concentration yes, in the third round. Yes, he did. He, he did, did some really lose mistakes lost it. in the third, winning this fight almost. Well, this is sport, yeah, and you always have a chance.